Glorious Father, we just come before you today and we thank you, Lord, for opening our eyes uh, yet to another day. Uh, you are the God of uh, all time, Lord, and so we understand that our times are in your hands. Keep us safe, Heavenly Father. Help us to make wise decisions and bless the work of our hands for your honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It really started a few years ago um, at the beginning of a meeting. You know, we decided to, to open a meeting up with, with prayer. And, uh, you know, Bernie felt comfortable opening up that with prayer. And uh, it made it uh, uh, available or more comfortable for us to open up meetings with prayer. And I, and I began the meeting two years ago with a very simple prayer that probably lasted less than 10 seconds. As he tells the story, one day he got the, uh, got the nerve to say a prayer before a meeting, and that sort of uh, started the ball rolling. I didn't notice any change. I wasn't really trying to affect any change. You know, it was never a goal. It was just I wanted to share my story. And so you know, that kind of branched out and it turned into, you know, before dinner with crews with prayer, starting, you know, your work day. Uh, with prayer, so you know that that leadership definitely came from the top, you know, and has migrated down throughout the ranks. But I saw other people start to say a prayer. Before too long, our plant manager started saying prayers uh, at his meetings with his supervisors, and then some of the supervisors felt good enough that they wanted to say a prayer at the start for their teams, and then one of our uh, other folks, uh, Pat Wimsett, in in our uh, IT department sent around an email to the entire company and the, our plant people as well, you know, uh, saying, hey, you know what, I want to start a Bible study here at Caldwell. I'm going to do it during lunch hour. I thought I just wondered if anybody at work would have any interest in talking with me about it. So I just sent out an email, just a blanket email, and said, hey, here's what I'm thinking. Is there any interest? And I mean, the response was overwhelming. I was really touched. I had no idea he was gonna write this email. I received it just like everybody else. And I felt really good about it. The fact that Pat felt comfortable enough uh, that he could send an email like that out, you know, and not fear for any kind of repercussions, that he felt comfortable enough to be able to do that, you know, and that people might feel comfortable enough to go ahead and participate. It's been received really, really well. Um, it is on Fridays during um, during the lunch period. Yeah, some days there was two or three of us sitting there, and now I think the most we've had is 22 people. I mean, we were, told, we were joking last week that Bernie's gonna need to build us a chapel, so. Uh, <laughs> when I get here in the morning, and like I said, I get here about six o'clock, quarter tail, and I get things fired up, and then I go back to my truck, and I have a Bible in the back of my truck, and I'll read two or three pages every day. And that gets me started. And then I ask God, this is your job site. Give me the strength, the guidance, and the knowledge to run this. It's great, it's a great feeling. I mean, it's, when you bring God into the, into the workplace, it's a happiness. You know you're doing the right, best thing. I, I think it's been received really well. And it's just an opportunity to connect uh, in, in ways that we weren't able to do, um, at least not successfully, you know, 20 years ago. I think it makes it feel more like a family. We've always been pretty tight-knit, uh, but, you know, since we've started praying together, um, you know, living our lives with, with God in it, you know, even at our workplace, not, you know, just at home, you know, it brings that, that family network closer together, and we are a family. I would hate to think that we had to get through the day without not praying. It wasn't hard. Um, I would say I w it, w it was like stepping on a frozen pond. You didn't know if the ice was going to give away. But it, it's been received so well. The ice is very thick. You know, it's not going to happen on its own. You know, it didn't happen at Caldwell on its own. It happened because um, Bernie decided, hey, we're going to start praying. And, uh, and, and watching people welcome that, you know, taking that in and, and then taking that on their own, even outside of, you know, Bernie or other leadership being present, they'll still pray. Uh, and then those other guys will take that message and they'll, they'll spread it. So it's, it's, it's contagious. It really is contagious. So once you get that prayer bug, um, you know, you, you can't help but to spread it. Well, 
I believe prayer and faith in the workplace um, sh belongs in every business. Uh, I believe it belongs in government. I believe it belongs in the schools. You know, if, if you have a business and your business is caring about people, you know, and you care about your people, I, I couldn't imagine a business that would not want to have, you know, prayer in the workplace, would not want to have God be a part of that business. I can't think of a business that wouldn't benefit from it in, in, in some way, but I, I think nothing but good things can come from having God at your workplace. We haven't seen the summit of all this yet. We haven't. We're, we're at the base of the mountain. We're just scratching the surface. This is going to be so much bigger. I've been amazed at the response for our employees, how they've picked it up. I haven't done anything else other than to say a prayer. You know? um, and I've just sat back and watched the rest of it develop. I'm just humbled to be honest with you by it. I'm really humbled by it because it wasn't me that did it. You know, it was God that gave me the strength to do it. You know, and now I'm hoping you know, that I can talk to other business leaders and say, you don't need to do anything more you know, than just enable it, you know, to let folks know it's okay. You have nothing to lose, everything to gain. The, the Lord will never let you fail.